So in today's video, we are doing this, a lovely little cut crease moment. And it, it, this is all with one palette. So I have used the 9M Melon Pop palette by Morphe. It's just this nine panner that I got as a gift. And yeah, I just thought, you know what, give it a go. It's not really a review. I just wanted to have a play. This is just a little bit of a play with makeup, really. If I was going to do a review, I would tell you that this palette is fantastic. Yeah, you've got you've got anything, really. You can do a neutral look. You can do something as, like, out there as this. It's just, yeah, it's just really, really good. Shimmer's a fab. Formula of the shadows a fab. Yeah. If you could just take a moment to like and subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. I think that is enough of me rambling, and we should just get straight into the tutorial. So, here we go. So one eye is done and I have prepped my other eye, getting ready to show you how to do it, with the P. Louise base. So starting off, I'm going to use the brown from the palette, which is too juiced. And that is going to sit just above my natural crease. And I've taken this on an ME11 brush, just a sort of small blending brush. And I'm just dabbing this on in that sort of like crease shape. As you can see, it's only like a brush width above my crease. Just stamping it on, first of all, to get that really nice colour payoff. And I've relaxed my eye so I can see like exactly where my natural crease is in my eye. So then I can get that really nice shape that just follows how my eye would naturally sit. So just tapping it on, first of all. And also just bringing it down to that lash line too. And I did actually clean up this eye with a makeup wipe, so I am going to take this like quite far down because I can always clean it up later. So then I'm just going to take my brush and give it a quick wipe on my makeup flannel. And just going to go and buff those edges to make sure that there's just no harshness there because that means when we go in with the red that we're going to get a really lovely blend. So next up I'm going to go in with the P. Louise 124 brush again, another small blending brush and I'm going to go in with the red in the palette and that is going on to that blended edge. So just tapping it on right on that blended edge first of all. So that's the red now all packed on and again wiping off onto my makeup towel. And go in and buff in the edge of that red. Then I'm going to go in with a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush, which is just a slightly bigger, fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with the pink shade to blend out that red. And I'm just using a really, really light hand with this. Cleaning off that brush on my towel, well, my flannel, and then buffing the edges of that pink. And I do tend to like take it right up to my brow, like because I do my brows before the rest of my makeup and they're all like rock hard. Doesn't really matter if I'm a little bit 
a bit round here near the brows so there we go with that first blend now I'm just gonna go back through and re-blend them all so I'm gonna go and do that red making sure that that hasn't been lost too much to the pink because red does tend to get lost it will even when you blend out the edges of the red it's more of a it settles to a pink really instead of like the vibrancy that makes it a red so just making sure that that red is nice and prominent and I also need to make sure that it is matched with where it is on the other eye as well like how high I've taken it so looking at that I'm thinking hmm going with that pink just to make sure that everything's the right height pink Yeah, that's a lot better now that that pink's back on. Now I'm gonna go back in with the brown and make sure that that's where it needs to be and as intense as I want it. And because we've already got that initial first blend on, you only need a really light touch to get everything nice and re-intensified. And then to just really deepen up that outer corner, I'm also just going to slightly change the tone of that brown using this black here. So I'm not packing on the black or anything like that. I'm just slightly dipping in with a PC37 brush, just like a fluffy bullet brush. And I'm literally just adding that right at this outer corner. So right at that outer corner there and ever so slightly into that crease. And as I say, that's not to use it as a black and stamp that black in. It's literally just to change the tone of that brown to just make it a little bit deeper. So then I'm wanting to go in and cut this crease to do my little cute little teardrop sort of shape. So I'm going to be using the P. Louise Green with Envy cosmetic base. It's just like the mint green coloured one. So I'm just going to squirt some of that onto the back of my hand. I'm not even going to do any cleaning up because it's just a shimmer going over the top really and that's like it's not a big deal that I'm not going to clean this up right now. So I'm going to take my P. Louise 7072 brush which is a flat cut crease brush. Super super thin. And all I'm going to do is literally stamp out exactly where I want that crease. All I'm going to do is stamp out exactly where I want that cut to be. So that is now all cut. So then I'm just going to take like a flat sort of packing brush and first for the inner corner I'm going to go in with the light green shimmer. And because I have got that green base on I now don't have to go right up to that line with the shimmer because there's already the green laid down. So I can still have that really, really sharp cut. And then wiping that brush off, literally just going in with the same brush, I'm going to take that dark green shimmer and that is going on the outer part of that cut crease. Nice. 
and I have also taken like the shape sort of in this like diagonal and then just making sure that those shimmers are nicely blended by just going back and forth patting over and then I'm just gonna have a check-in to see if all the colors are looking alright so I can sort of see just looking straight on that this needs to become just a smidge darker to match the other eye. So I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit of that black to the outer corner. And then also just going around a tiny bit of that with the dark brown. And also slightly just tickling the skin over there around that cut crease so it's nice and defined. I'm just going to get a cotton pad with some micellar water on and just clean that up. So now that that's all done, I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back for the bottom lash line. So I am back to do the lower lash line. So for the waterline, I'm going to go in with the P. Louise and Mitchell Acid Rain Paint in Limelight, which is this like electric green. So just taking that on a really, really small brush and going in, painting it on that waterline. And this is a paint, so once it dries down, this is gonna stay in the waterline 24 seven. So there we go. And then for the actual lash line, I'm gonna go in with my PC 47 brush, tiny, tiny little buffing brush. And I'm going to go in with the brown from the palette. Just there. And then I'm going to buff that out with a PC38 brush. Again, another small blending brush. And I'm going to go in with the red. And then you know what's coming, it's going to be the pink and I'm just going to wipe off that brush and go in with the pink. And then I am just going to go back through and make sure that all those colours are really, really vibrant. And then on that inner corner for my highlight, I'm going to go in with this shimmer in the palette, this like icy gold shimmer. Just a tiny brush. I'm just gonna bob that right on the inner corner. Just for a bit of shush. So I'm gonna quickly go off, do the other waterline and lash line, put some lashes on, do my lips, all that jazz, I'm gonna be ready and I'll show you the final look. So guys, here we have the finished look. So I'll just give you a little bit of a close up. And yeah, I just think this is one of those really, really like fun, groovy looks. I must say, I'm really, really feeling it with the hair like the colour. Maybe maybe not so much a style, I feel a little bit like a grandma, but really couldn't be asked doing anything else with it. But yeah, I just think that this is really, really fun. I've had fun doing it. It hasn't taken me as long as I expected it to. I don't know how I feel about that. Don't forget guys, if you recreate or are inspired by any of my looks, then please, please, please do let me know and please do tag me in them because I actually love seeing them. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. Stay safe, stay well, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.